these fragrances have to go. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany for those that are new and welcome to a new video. Y'all already know that I have to go ahead and thank my lovely, my beautiful, my handsome, supportive subscribers, of course. Thank you all so much for choosing to support me. Your support really does go a long way. You are helping my channel grow every single day, okay? And I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So please, if you are into fashion, beauty, photography, especially fragrances and smelling good body care, I think that this will be the channel for you, so I hope that you consider subscribing. So of course with spring being here, spring arriving, I have to do, I'm kind of behind, but I am doing some spring cleaning. In this video, I will be decluttering, getting rid of some of the most talked about, some of the most popular fragrances out on the market. Now I will say that some of these fragrances I've had for quite a bit of time, but others are very new to my collection. And they just don't thrive okay so hopefully they will find a new home a happy home because i do sell my perfumes some of my fragrances on macari and i will link my macari account down below so that you all can possibly shop with me so i do have some lotions that i'm going to start off with first that i'm going to get rid of the first one is going to be the zadig in voltaire this is her this right here it does not work with me. I do not like the way that this smells. I was off in the deep end looking for whipped cream fragrances. I just kept seeing this, this, this. So I did want to start off with the body lotion first to see if I would like the fragrance. And no, I don't know. Like it just doesn't work for me. Um, I really wanted it to because everybody talked about how it had a heavy whipped cream note or this was a heavy whipped cream fragrance. If anything, it smells like a creamy baby powder suntan lotion that's what i get with this and that's not good so this will be getting decluttered from my fragrance from my fragrance collection and the reason why i'm super sad with this fragrance is because i really i was really looking forward to that whipped cream because i am if you don't already know i am a gourmand girly i love perfumes that make me smell good enough to eat and this did not make me smell like that at all. So y'all already know when it comes to my fragrances, one of my most favorite things to do is look up the notes to see what's making it smell so good. But in this case, we're going to see what's making me not like it at all. The main of course we have vanilla, sweet, woody, balsamic, lactonic, powdery, warm, spicy, soft, spicy, and musk. So for the top notes, we have pink pepper, silkwood blossom, and jasmine sandbag. For the middle notes, we have whipped cream, vanilla and chestnut it might be that chestnut that i'm not it might be the chestnut that's doing so much okay and for the base notes we have sandalwood and cashmere wood so i'm like this is all those notes you know are just things that i'm into things that i really like but this one did not cut the rug okay so this will be leaving the collection so bye bye okay so the next body lotion that has two X in my collection is called Shalomar from the house of Guerlain y'all since I am such a huge fan of Mar Guerlain that is bae that will forever and always be bae I thought that I would absolutely love this fragrance and it's a complete no this does not mm -mm. this smells very mature and I know that this has like a leather note in it. So we're going to look at the other notes. But that leather note is very strong. I do not. <laughs> I do not like this at all. Like I cannot get with it. I cannot get past it. I smelled this one time. And that was it. Do you see how full this is? I have not touched this at all. Pretty much everything is brand new. Brand spanking new. So for the main course for this fragrance, we have citrus, amber, woody, vanilla, balsamic, powdery, smoky, mm, leather, animalic, and warm and spicy. So that smoky and leather mix, it's probably, that's what's probably doing it for me. They really have a lot of notes in this. So for the top notes, we have citrus, bergamot, lemon, cedar, and mandarin orange. Don't smell none of that. For the middle notes, we have iris, patchouli, 
vetiver, jasmine, and rose. It has rose in it. And if you know me, if you've seen my previous videos, I don't really gravitate towards rose fragrances or really floral perfumes like that. I do like the warm florals, but yeah. Watch my other videos and you'll see how I explain it, okay? So for the base notes, we have vanilla, incense, leather, I think that's a papanax, and civet, sandalwood, tonka bean, and musk. Do y'all hear all those notes? Like, that's just so much, okay? Mm -mm, I can't do it. So yeah, <laughs> this will be leaving my collection out the door on the way, okay? That's Shalimar by Guerlain. You know, you win some and you lose some. So this will be the last body lotion that I'll be talking about, and I want you to take a guess on which house you think it's from. It is also from Guerlain. I don't know what's going on. My Guerlain might just be Bay. That's it. That's all. This is, I believe I'm pronouncing this right. Please don't kill me for the name. But I think this is pronounced Le Delice de Ban. I don't know. I know it's French. And it means the delight. This smells like someone trying to cover up black and mouth with perfume. You know how people try to cover up those smells with perfumes and fragrances. This is what that smells like to me on my skin. Like when I sniff it out of the bottle, it smells very pleasant, it smells okay. But when I put this on my skin, I don't know, it's like the chemical reaction. Baby, it does not mix, it does not work. And I just can't do it. Mm -mm. No, when I smelt it from the bottle, I was like, oh, this is gonna be like a nice bath fragrance coming out the shower fragrance. It's such a nice, pleasant smell but not on my skin. <laughs> so this will work for somebody else, but it won't work for me. Okay, so I'm kind of having a hard time trying to find the notes to this, but the product overview, it says, this smooth and luxurious body lotion is infused with a delightful combination of musky and citrus scents. It is rich and nourishing. It provides moisture to the epidermis and supporting the body. So now we are just about to move on to the fragrances. I'm so sad, but... I have to. Here we go. House of Siage Cream Chiffon. I'm so sad this will be leaving my collection. I've tried to work with this fragrance, y'all. I love the packaging. Look at the bottle. It is so beautiful. But I'm not going to waste three to five hundred dollars on a perfume that's just going to sit in my collection. No. I know that I will be getting the Hufflepuff. But this one has to go. I guess I gotta go. I guess it's time to go. <laughs> I'm really sad for real. We are going to pretend we didn't hear that. Thought it would be like more creamy, more soft and seductive, but it's just giving me a medicinal fragrance that I could not get with. It reminds me of my childhood medicine. You know when we would get like a cold and we would go to the doctor and then we have that medicine out put it right here it just reminds me of that and i cannot get past that because it traumatized me as a kid growing up and you know you can um create or remember certain things when it comes to perfumes and that's what that makes me think of and this does not last at all for the amounts of money that i paid for this no it doesn't match up for the main accords in this perfume, we have vanilla, citrus, sweet, powdery, and amber. And the top notes, we have bitter orange, brown sugar, grapefruit. For the middle notes, we have benzoin and heliotrope. And then for the base notes, we have vanilla, whipped cream, white musk, and Haitian vetiver. I don't think that it's worth the price, especially with the fragrance not lasting long. It doesn't really project, and it doesn't leave like a central behind nothing and it just might of course be my skin chemistry because we all know that fragrances are subjective so what might work for me might not work for you vice versa okay house of siage they don't do returns or you know they don't they don't accept returns so the best thing i can do is try to sell it on a third party store so this is cream chiffon the next fragrance that I will be talking about is also a very popular fragrance. When I first heard about this perfume through TikTok, y'all know that TikTok has basically become the search engine for perfumes, new perfumes. So this perfume that I'll be decluttering is called Nebras, I believe, Nebra. And the box is so beautiful. Look at the box. It's giving luxury. It's giving I cost a bag and this was very affordable. It matches my shirts. Okay, that's cute. Period. 
So you just slide it out like this. Hit it. Oh. It wouldn't be me if I didn't drop something in my video. Like, what is this? So here is the fragrance. Like, this is such a nice presentation, nice packaging. See how it's shining? Like, that is so beautiful. But the fragrance just doesn't work for me. I know I definitely smell a vanilla in here. It has a very nice vanilla undertone. But on top of that, it smells medicinal. Like, I don't know what it is that it makes me very queasy and very nauseous but smelling it from the top from the spray nozzle it smells very pleasant but when I spray it on my skin it's probably the second spray from this bottle I don't know it smells very minty it's a minty medicinal vanilla and I don't like it. A lot of people like to compare this to the Billie Eilish perfume. I can see a little, I can see a little bit, but I definitely prefer the Billie Eilish perfume over this. It just smells more chocolatey, more milky, more vanilla, whereas this one just smells minty and medicinal mixed with vanilla. And I, I just don't like it, okay? So. This will be leaving my collection and I want I really wanted to like this as well because you know how you just see so many good reviews on products and you're like, okay, yeah, I'm going to like that one. No. <laughs> and like I said, I know we have different noses, but. So for the man, of course, in this perfume, you have vanilla, sweet cacao, warm, spicy, amber, fruity, and powdery things that I love like I'm not understanding so for the top notes we have red berries and mandarin orange for the middle notes we have vanilla cacao and rose mm -hmm. that rose and for the base notes we have sugar tonka bean amber and musk they forgot to add mint in here okay because I am picking up a very heavy mint note in this fragrance like the vanilla is a very beautiful vanilla like I love the vanilla in here but the mint tea and the medicinal notes are overtaking overpowering that vanilla so i must move on i must let it go because it's not for me the next perfume that i will be decluttering for my collection is called bear from victoria's secret now when i first smelled this perfume i fell head over heels i did a whole fragrance review on this perfume okay it just goes to show you that your nose is always changing and i'm not saying that anything is wrong with this perfume but i just I don't really reach for this at all it's not really standing out to me like it's not something that I'm like oh my gosh I have to have this one right now as you can see it's still filled to the tippy top like I said it's really nothing wrong with this perfume this is a nice scent it's just nothing to write home about it's like very generic a very basic everyday perfume if you just get into perfumes this would be perfect for you I'm pretty sure that you know most Victoria's Secret perfumes a great starter perfumes but this is very nice very generic you really can't go wrong with this i just don't reach for it like that which is why i'm you know letting this go so for the main course in this perfume you have woody powdery violet citrus warm spicy and it only lists three notes you have australian sandalwood violets and mandarin orange so it's a very simple it's a very simple fragrance and yeah. so this is Bear by Victoria's Secret okay so the next perfume that I will be decluttering is called The Your Addict and I ooh, that was kind of hard too mm. this perfume just smells way too perfumey for me if that makes sense and the opening I really do like the opening but once it settles on my skin, it just turns and does something very strange. Like, and it's something that I can't explain. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of this perfume. This is the EDT version. And, yeah. Oh my gosh. Y'all know what I'm just realizing? Y'all know the lip glow oil or the Dior lip oil? It's the same. It's that... It's like a full circle moment right quick. Just let me have my moment, okay? Don't come for me if you already know. But I'm just realizing that it has the same top and the same shape. For the main, of course, in this perfume, you have white florals, citrus, vanilla, woody, powdery, floral, and fresh. 
and for the bass notes and for the top notes you have Castilian Mandarin for the middle notes you have Jasmine Sandback Tanasia Neroli for the bass notes you have Vanilla and Sandalwood so I don't know this one just it's just not one that I like for real and this is also another one that I really don't reach towards or reach for. It's just sitting away collecting dust in my collection. The next perfume that I will be decluttering is called Phrase Forte. And this is so cute because as dancers, if you're a dancer, you already know that Forte means to whip the specific term that we do in dance. So I was like, oh, not the name day after a dance move. Okay, but yeah. This recently came out. I was so excited to have this in my collection because lately I have been on a strawberry milkshake or a strawberry cream, whoops, cream, strawberries and cream type fragrance. But when I tell you I sprayed this, let me see, let me test it out, make some more room. Y'all don't have to spray everything. So, mm -mm. <laughs> no. This smells so synthetic, like. It really smells, in my opinion, it smells cheap. But this was very affordable perfume. But you know, you wanna you wanna spend your money wisely and you wanna get affordable perfumes, but you don't want it to smell cheap either. So I do not like this at all. And I was so disappointed, so sad because I do love, I really can't remember the name. I'm gonna put it right here. I love that perfume. Like they nailed it with that one. But this right here. It smells so synthetic the strawberry because we all know that phrase means strawberry in English Ugh. this just gives me strawberry chapstick and I don't like it so they are saying that this is juicy vibrant and pure for the top notes we have fresh strawberries Florida orange and a hint of banana for the middle notes we have heliotrope flower soft butter and coconut water and for the base notes we have whipped sugar and vanilla cream like, don't those notes just sound so beautiful and so yummy? I was so ready to love this. So, the last two fragrances that I'll be decluttering are from the House of Dockets Aroma. This one is called Candy Neroli. This reminds me of the past. You know, you remember the candy, the past sticks? This is exactly what I get from this perfume. And I wonder if it's spilling. Yep, it's spilling. So, I might not sell this one because... It's already spilled out on my hand. So but apparently they're not selling this on their site anymore, the Candy Neroli. So I really can't read you the notes because I don't know, I don't remember. But just know it reminds me of the pear sticks and I don't like it. The other one is called Cocoa and Cashmere and I've come to realize that Cocoa and Cashmere mixed together for me does not smell good. That also makes me very nauseous, it makes my hair hurt. I just can't do it. They say the cocoa cashmere is elegantly crafted with aromatic notes of vanilla, tonka bean, coconut, jasmine, cocoa butter, cashmere, sandalwood, amber, and musk for a luxurious fragrance. Um, I just don't like this at all. Like, I really don't even want to smell this. I don't like it. Yeah, let me go ahead and put that up, okay? Because I don't want you all to see me get sick on the screen. But <laughs> I do have another fragrance that I have to find. I don't know what I did with it. I don't know where it is. Somebody must have already came and got it. I think it's called Casablanca. So that will be a fragrance that will also be leaving my collection. So thank you all so much. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any of these fragrances, I would love to know your opinion. Y'all know I love talking with y'all in the comments. So don't be shy, okay? Don't be shy. But thank you all once again. And I will be back with another one.